What's going on guys? We're about to get into tearing the uh, kegs apart a little bit. I just wanted to say uh, thanks for watching the videos. It means a lot to me. And what the heck's up with the weather right now? In Arkansas, two days ago it was 80 degrees. Now, last or last night it got down to like 35 or something like that. So it's freezing. I hate freezing cold weather. So I'm in all of this good stuff. But we're finally putting the pull up. At my grandma's, that's where I also work on the bike. And um, it's October 11th, I think, or 12th today. And we're finally putting the pull up. Now you tell me, is that not crazy? But anyway, let's get back to the bike. Actually, guys, I did a little bit of work on the bike a couple days ago. My cousin Rick came by, the person that's also helped me with this bike. And uh, we took the thing, some things apart. So sadly, my phone was completely jacked up then. I couldn't even use it. But... I'll kind of show you, I think, what we took apart then. Let's see. All right, we got the uh, shock out, all the linkage at the bottom. We're still got the swing arm on the wheel. And I'm having a problem with that Allen key right there because it's been stripped out. Working on it still. I'm not sure how good this video does it justice, but look at this crap that's caked under here, guys. Like, I mean, that does not show a good representation of it because it is caked on here. And I actually have the frame and the, uh, oh, not swing arms, but I say swing arm. The frame and the front fork sitting on here, and I'll show you the dirt on that. So next thing I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna get all the electrical junk off here. I'm gonna actually probably use this video to remember where it all get route, got routed to. And then we're around. All right, let's get it off there. All right, got all the electric taken off. Gonna work on getting these triple clamps off. Get those forks out of there. So we'll have bare frame. All right, guys. So we got the top triple clamp off. Got the forks off. The forks actually look really good. I mean, like, there's like no leaks or anything. I mean, they're really dirty, of course, but they're kind of scratched up up there. But we're gonna get them cleaned up real good. Uh, front tire is actually pretty dead gum good condition. <laughs> so we're not gonna do much with that. Just gonna try to get that off right there, and it's all cleaning and going on to painting. Moving along pretty good. Well, guys, I thought we'd make it through the whole bike without having anything stripped out, but we had one of the things stripped out. And, let's see, do I have it in my pocket? No, it must be out there. Uh, it's one thing I can't ever stand, no matter what, it's the Dadgum Allen keys. One of the freaking bolts to hold on the rear brake is just completely stripped out, so I'm. Having to drill it out and try to figure out a way to get it off. Gotta love it. Here's the one that actually came out good. And uh, there's the stripped one. I'm trying to drill it out right now. I'm trying to get this rear brake off here sometime soon. So, you guys, a little update on things. Getting everything cleaned up as best I can for now. I put a lot of detail in it. I get polished and everything. Anyway. Totally see the two different color, color, colors of like original, and then there's been like hiking in the sun or anything. It's crazy. Pretty, pretty rough. Here's another piece I just got done doing. About to clean these forks up. Look pretty. Cool. That part looks good. I mean, no leaking whatsoever. Pretty dirty, but other than that, clean those up real quick, and we'll see what they look like. 
So guys, the shock turned out extremely nice. Extremely nice. And no leaking, I mean like top notch pro circuit front shock. I'm gonna hit this one real quick. And probably honestly start loading stuff up in the truck and call this a day. So let's get that sucker clean real quick. Alrighty. Staying going good. This one right here is a little bit more beat up. Still a good shock though. So we're gonna keep it. Get it over here by its mate. Booyah! Box of parts. It's a random jump. Chain. Plastic thing that looks like a butthole. Literally looking out there trying to figure out anything else that I left out there and I didn't see anything. And then I stepped on something. It was this one brake caliper bolt. I'm going to put it right there for now. I'm debating on getting a new chain or not. This one doesn't look just bad, but it's kind of grody. So we'll probably get a new one. But now, to load the stuff that we're going to paint into the truck. Actually, before we do that, we're going to get out some bolts that are broke off in this frame. And I kid you not, there's like three or four of them. I was wrong. There's only two. There's one. There. There's a focus. And there's one. Both broke off. The other ones, it's not even over there anymore. The gas tank actually has like two of them. This broke off on each side too, so the plastic's really like hanging. There's only one plastic that goes on this bike, it's on one side, and it was really just hanging on there by like one bolt that was barely even screwed in there. So I'm gonna heat these up, get these out real quick, and then we'll load everything up in the truck. Got the handle barred. For any of those that, of the, uh, 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 for any of those that's wondering about the truck, uh, my rims are done. I know it's been a long time since I've said anything about that. Yes, my rims are done. I'm about to get new tires. And since it's decided to just go freeze in Arkansas real quick, I might as well get uh, my off-road tires now so I don't get have any problems. We don't really have a lot of snow here in Arkansas, but we do. It just turns to mud and a lot of rain. So it gets kind of grody. So gonna be popping them tires on good. Holy mackerel! Anyway guys, all the parts in the back are gonna be off to painting. There's probably be a couple of few that I left there. But this is gonna be the end of the video today. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all stick around for the next one. Anyway, like, subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Make today worth it. Peace out. Suckers!